Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 1st of June and it's 2.15 in the uh, afternoon. Now, in this video, I've got a barricade lamp update for you. Um, in fact, we're going to be unboxing four of them. There they are. They literally just arrived. Uh, but before we get to that, I've got another one of these. From German, this is probably, I think that's a German word. Beisterfeld. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. Another static um, photo cell. I bought this one from a friend of mine over on Facebook. Uh, I think I've got another one of these static photo cell, but to be honest, even though this one's got a faded body, it's in better condition than the other one. Anyway, so in this box, four lamps, and they've come all the way from Australia. Um, I've got a chap on my Facebook who lives in Australia um, <clears throat> who also collects lamps and when he comes over here usually once a year but it's been a couple of years thanks to you know what he usually brings like a suitcase full of lamps that he's um, arranged to sell to other collectors and whatnot. Um, now I know I've got three in here that I actually purchased um, plus he said he put a free one in. So let's just get rid of this loose card. I don't know what the free one was because I can't remember what ones I actually purchased. <laughs> um, in fact, just to be brutally honest, I haven't paid for these yet. I'm doing that tonight when my money goes in. Um, I think you just want to get these posted out, you know, before he has to go back. Whenever he has to go back. Anyway, number one, I was actually put my name on it. I suppose that's so he knows who they were for. I now have a blue Dorman cone light with the synchro guide, that's what that's for. So this will actually um, sync up with my amber version because it's exactly the same, it's just and that's different. Um, I've got some batteries, so we should be able to power these up as well. So that's the first one. Quite a heavy box. One because there's four lamps in here. And two because some of these are metal. In fact, I think the next three are all metal. Oh, right. So I believe, if I remember rightly, these are Artcraft. Yep. So there's the first one. Artcraft, and it's got something embossed on there. S O F C I think. Hazard lamp. Ooh. I didn't know it's in the first because it had that odd looking bracket on the back. With a um, security bolt, I have no idea how you're supposed to oh I see. You open it from this side, it's like a hexagon screw. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that's number one. Here's number two. Can I slide it out? No. This is another art craft. I can't remember. All of those has got red lens outside, which looks like it's been a bit melted. <laughs> And amber that side. And well, this one's a plastic one. I think I think this is the free one actually, I can't remember. Yeah it is. Remember this one? Road safety equipment. Uh, Contractor flashing. Contractor phone. Replace batteries at 4.7 volts on closed circuit. So they actually expect you to test the voltage. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Now that is just padding here. Take the knife out so I don't lose it. I have actually lost a pen all the way to America. <laughs> I did a trade um, a few
few years ago with an American collector and I dropped my pen there without realising. So he got a free pen. <laughs> Ooh, got some bubble wrap inside the box here. Uh, I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver. Have I got one at hand or am I going to need one? No, I'm going to have to go find one. Bear with me a second. Screwdriver obtained. Right, let's see if we can get any of these working. I might just uh, shut that light off. <laughs> I was going to say the securing bolt seems to be missing, but nope, it's now all over the floor. That uh, it popped off <laughs> a lot easier than I was expecting. Right, let's have a look. How does... So what's that for? Uh, I, I have no idea. That's the main securing fault. Let's get a bolt, a bolt and a battery in it and we'll see if we can get it to do anything. It is. There we go. So there's the first one. The challenge, if I choose to accept it, is to figure out how to get into this uh, next one. <laughs> Hmm. Ah! I see. Well, this has got CMC written on it this side. I think that's the only right one I can find on. Cell lamps, they leave them in the on position, so all you've got to do is put the battery in. That's working. But I'd love to know how, I don't know if you can actually see it on camera, yeah, how the lens ended up like that. And it's got red that side, and if I turn it around, we've got amber that side. It's sort of not lighting up very well because that lens is a bit warped. I suppose I could try gently heating it with a heat gun and it might bring it back into shape but then again I might risk making it worse so cool. um I've got a bolt here that I need undone and I can't turn it is that a hexagon screw or could I get in there on this I've actually got to turn this side it seems. Oh this is the side that's turning. Oh I see, yeah. Why is Oh has that got a Oh it has, it's got a um, fire cell. Okay. That explains that one. Away in here, and we are working. Battery's keeled over. I know I'm putting the battery in awkwardly. Do 
don't need the bolt in there. No, I don't. So there we go. We've got another static one. So we've got flash, flash, stick. And this one is going to be the easiest one. If I'd have used my brain, I'd have gone and got a traffic cone to sit this on. light sensor on it so it won't work and or maybe it will just call me a liar now I need to get these uh, set up with my other ones that is extremely bright as well there we go there we go for the cover up that's where the sensor is So now it's working. And of course, this one works as well. Nice steady burn. I haven't got enough space. <laughs> there we go. find a um, name on this one. We'll have to um, either look back through the messages or um, just drop him a message and ask because I can't remember. That one's not craft. I think that's not craft. Possibly. And there must be a net maker's name on this somewhere. Contractor written on there and the battery made in Australia highway safety development developments something limited Eltham Victoria some light sensors in the front here if I cover the back, it doesn't activate it. If I cover the front, there we go. I've got a few lamps from Australia now, I think. Yeah, I've got another one up on the shelf. Another two up on the shelf, actually. Grab those. These also came from the, um, the same chap. So we've got that one. Which is basically the um, Australian version of the Dorman traffic lamp. Here, which is actually the UK version of a Deet 650 from America. And I've got the other one, which is on the top shelf, if I can reach it. Oh, in fact, I'm pretty certain I've got another one somewhere. Yeah, I've got another one of these. From Australia, you can tell because the Australians had the loop. Actually, I think Belgium did as well. But this one is actually from Australia, not Belgium. And I don't think I've got the amber one up there. The only difference with the amber one is I'm missing that bit. That's another thing our UK version didn't have. We didn't have that. Or the um, hanging loop. My other one's not up there. I don't think, at least off the top of my head, I don't think I've got any more maps from Australia at the minute. 
I mean, technically that one's not Australian specific because they were used here as well. Synchro cone line. Do not stare into beam. Yeah, I found that one out the hard way. Yeah. That actually feels quite good for a plastic lamp. I've just got to, <laughs> to figure out how that goes. I can't actually physically get that in there. But it's the only bolt I've got. Apart from that, I actually have no idea what this bit is for. Yes, I do. I've just realised what it is. It's the key. It's the key with a bolt through it as a handle. Look. That goes on the end here. Ah. All becomes clear and then that should you actually have to thread it all the way through it it looks like you might ah ah I figured it out yay what have we come to a stop itself is a little bit annoying but because you've got the thread it all the way in from the start it would make it very annoying to try and steal the battery or the lamp or both because you can't actually do it um, by fingers this is actually quite tight plastic is called, it's a solid block of it, I can't remember what that type of plastic is called now, not off the top of my head, right, I should have somewhere, because I was playing with it last night with a few other lamps, another, um, another lamp key, a universal lamp key, you don't really need a lamp key for the Dormans, just a small screwdriver works, but on some lamps, the hole is so small, you do need either a proper key or a proper tool for it. Here it is. So you've got that key with a very thin, pointy thing on it. See, my screwdriver's too big to go into the hole here. Like so. That's a point. I haven't even found the um, on-off buttons on this, have I? Is it that one? Yay! And that one. Yep. In fact, I could have probably got away with my screwdriver on that one. Did I throw it somewhere? Yeah, I put it down here with the lamp, didn't I? Right. Can that fit? Oh, yeah, that one fit. I turned it on. There we go. Just need a slap on the head. I think the contacts might want a bit of a clean on this one as well. And that button's a bit sticky, so I might change that if I can. There we go. More lamps to the collection. And something um, different, actually. To be perfectly honest, I think I've got most. UK varieties. There's actually a few very, very rare ones that I don't have. Mainly because they are bloody rare. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's nice to get something from other countries. Oh, that bit's plastic. Plastic um, lens surround with a metal den going around that. Right, up the floor. Put the 
bolt this one just so I don't uh, want to pull it down a little bit but I don't want to pull it down quite that much. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the holes to line up. Well that is weird. Weird because I'm trying to put that in at the wrong hole. So we got that side. That one that side. And the other one threaded a bit. Go this side. I've just noticed though, I'm doing that. That side doesn't clip in, the holes don't line up. <laughs> oh well, it's in there, it's safe. That's good enough for now. So Thanks a lot for watching everyone, I um, hope you enjoyed the video, it's been a little while since I've managed to do a, um, a lamp update, so uh, I guess I'll talk to you in the next one, bye!